AI video generator, create faceless YouTube videos with one prompt. Faceless YouTube channels can earn you an insane amount of money per month. Take a look at this channel, it's called Across the Globe and they are using the strategy that we're going to show you guys today and they're earning around five to six thousand dollars every month and you can easily make this kind of revenue and you can do that with just 10 minutes of your time thanks to the latest AI tool by NVIDIA. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can create faceless YouTube videos with just one prompt. So make sure to follow along and use my prompt guidelines that I'll explain in this video. So if you want to get started, I have left a personal link down below where you can get started with a free sign up. Now, coming up with the video ideas and niches are one of the most integral steps of any kind of faceless YouTube channel. So your first step needs to be choosing your niche. This channel over here has chosen the travel niche. Travel is a great niche to go into. However, other niches like money, motivation, fitness, health, travel, love, and success all these niches are amazing because these are things that people are always looking at. Now, let's say, for example, in this video, I'll be focusing on the health niche. So the second step is going to be coming up with your video idea. The health niche is very broad, like this channel over here has a travel niche, but the travel niche can be very broad. So in our health niche, we need to come up with ideas. To get your ideas, simply go into ChatGPT, and I've entered this prompt over here, which says, give me 10 viral video ideas within the personal health niche that can be produced using stock footage available online. The video must have an engaging concept that will prolong watch time. So one thing to keep in mind whenever you are entering this kind of prompt is that you're going to input your own niche over here. So I'm going with health, you can go with anything else. And then you want to make sure to include the line that it should be using free stock footage available online or stock footage available online. You're just going to enter this prompt within ChatGPT and it will give you multiple different ideas for you to build your video on. So morning rituals, evolution of fitness trends, and we also have a day in the life of a healthy eater, home workout hacks, no gym required, the psychology of motivation, aging gracefully. Now these are amazing topics that can help you in prolonging watch time. And I do think that a lot of these ideas are pretty good. I really like the first idea, which is seven simple morning rituals for a healthier you. This is a very relatable kind of concept that can work well across YouTube. So these are some amazing ideas. I personally like this one, but if you don't like any of the ideas that ChatGPT has come up with, you can ask it to write 10 more. So you can just write 10 more or add 10 more ideas and ChatGPT will use the same initial prompt and start generating 10 more ideas for you. Now, if you want to get started with building your in-video AI based videos, make sure to check out the link provided in the description box down below. You can get started with in-video AI for free, but if you're serious about video creation and you want to publish videos without a watermark, then I highly recommend that you get started and upgrade to a paid plan, which starts as low as $20 a month. Now, the first thing we have to do is that we're going to go into NVIDIA AI and then you have to input your prompt. So a prompt is going to be the instructions that NVIDIA is going to use to create your video. Previously in ChatGPT, we only generated some ideas for a video. However, I'm going to be using a prompt. So I have already created this prompt over here and I'll break this down for you guys so it's easier for you to understand. Now, first off, I've entered what the duration of the video is and the platform that I want it to be on. So these are the first two and most important things. Next up, you have to include the niche. So on the topic of health and the benefits of exercising daily and going on walks. You can derive your idea from ChatGPT. Like I said, I like this idea of seven simple morning rituals for a healthier you. If I want to use this, I can copy this like so. And I can input this in my basic topic. So if I input this over here. On the topic of seven simple morning rituals for a healthier you and then i also want to include some more details about my topic so 
I've asked it to create easy and simple rituals. Now, the next thing I've done is that we've included something like a storyline or it should, you know, whatever your key points are within your idea, you want to include those. So this video should include benefits like weight loss, improved digestion, less stress and better mental health by doing these rituals. The overall mood of the video should be educational. So one thing to keep in mind is that you want to specify the mood. Obviously, for different types of viewers, you're going to have a different tone. If you're targeting children, then your tone is going to be more playful. The mood of your video should be more playful. If you're targeting, you know, academics, you want a serious tone. We want to be educational over here. Then you want to derive your aim. So the aim of this video is for people to watch our longer videos on how to start exercising or on longer videos on how to start these rituals. So I'm going to include that instead. Healthy living. Now, after that, I have specified the voiceover. The voiceover should be a male and with an American accent and dynamic pacing. So the pace of your video is also going to vary depending on your platform. If you're doing shorts, you might want it to be very dynamic and quick and fast. However, if you're doing long form content within video, you might want a slower pace of your video. Then you have your word style. So your word style for our video is casual because it's not really that much of a professional video or we're not really disseminating educational content. We're really doing basic informational content. So I've kept the word style with casual. Then I've added medium stock footage and then you want to add your background music. So our background music is pop 2000s music. This is a simple formula for you guys to generate your prompts. However, you can also ask ChatGPT to create a prompt for you. So you can go into ChatGPT. You can copy your basic idea that you liked. You're going to paste that into uh, ChatGPT. So Using this topic, generate a prompt for AI video generation where the video is one minute long. So now ChatGPT is going to generate a prompt for me. So create a one minute video that visually represents this topic and the video should include a series of engaging, inspiring clips. It should have overlays, so on and so forth. It should have a call to action encouraging the viewers to start their day with these health boosting habits. The overall tone should be uplifting, uplifting and informative. Uh, inspiring viewers should incorporate these rituals into their daily routine now i like my prompt i also like the chat gpt one but i'm gonna go with my own one instead now on your top right you have your workflow options from here you want to select the particular platform you're creating this video for if this is not for a particular platform and you're doing this for your own website you can even click on custom script we're doing this for youtube shorts and this is going to be about mindful and healthy living i want to use a male voice and i want a clear american voice then i also want to include subtitles and i want to use i stock normally and i'm going to click on continue now once i've done this i'm simply going to click on generate a video and now in videos ai will take this prompt and create an entire video for me now, NVIDIA AI has asked us some further questions. The reason for this is because NVIDIA is refining the video to what we want it to be. So this is going to be for the general public. I'm not targeting a very specific niche. I want this to be very general. Then I want the look to be minimalist and zen. Then the platform is YouTube Shorts and I'm going to click on continue over here. And we're going to wait for our video to be generated. Now you guys can see our video has been generated. Currently we're doing a preview, so let's just view it briefly. So you guys can see I like this video very much. The introduction is really good and it's generally communicating the feel that I wanted for my video. Now, the next thing you have to take into account is that if you like the voiceover, if you want to change the tone of that, you can do that as well, as well as the overall media clips that you have. Personally, I really like the way that the subtitles are showing, how the script has been formulated. I think it's really using the prompt that I gave it very accurately. But if you don't like the video, you can easily click on regenerate on the bottom left. And then you can choose a different audience. So if you do this, you can basically 
regenerate for a different audience and then you will have two videos from one basic prompt you can do this if you want however if you want to just keep it the same and do the exact same thing it will create a alternate video using the exact same audience in mind now you guys can see that our alternate video is currently being generated however if you don't want to create an entire alternate video you can easily edit your initial video or even edit your alternate video simply by clicking on edit on the bottom right you will find it down below your preview and then you have two options so in your two options first off you have edit media so if there is any visual frame that you do not like you can simply click on edit media then you will find the visuals over here on the top in this pop-up dialog whenever you click on an individual image or individual video it will highlight the particular text that it is behind so if you want to change the text as well you can do that or if you want to change a video to a particular specific text element then you can also do that and find a better video so a moment to just read now let's talk about healthy living let's say i don't really like this video of a person meditating maybe I want it to be more natural, I want it to be more green, then I will simply click on search on the bottom or you can upload your own content on the left side as well. But I will go into search. I'm just going to search for mountain meditating to find someone meditating in the mountains instead. Yeah, so I'm going to replace it with this and simply by clicking on the image, the video will be replaced. Now, once you do that, once you have replaced your video, you wanna click on apply on the bottom. And now our video has been replaced. It's going to take a couple of seconds for it to alter your video. Now I'll show you guys our altered video. Now you guys can see this is the altered video. This clip has been put instead of our older clip. Now there are other ways you can edit. So you want to edit the script as well. Simply click on edit script on the bottom and then you will see your entire script. Now you guys can see this is just one chapter of your script. You can click on the plus icon over here and add another section onto your video. I don't want to do that so I'm just going to click on these three dots on the right and click on delete. Now you guys can see it says picture this a life where stress is but a fleeting visitor. Now let's say I don't want to add the run along line on this so I will just cut this out and welcome to the world of mindful and healthy living. Now after that it's a journey not a destination, start small, make gradual changes. Let's say I don't want to include this line either so I'm going to cut this out as well like this. So start small, make gradual changes. I don't want the first line on this so I've removed that from my script. Now you will also see a icon over here on the left where it has the keywords. The keywords are going to help in setting up your overall appeal in your video. Now you want to click on apply changes over here to edit your script. And just like that, your script will be edited. So we're going to wait for the voiceover to sync up. So you guys can see now that our voiceover has also been synced up and then our new script has been applied. Now, these are just the two basic ways that you can change your video. However, there is a really amazing feature that you're only going to find on InVideo AI, which is command editing. So command editing is basically where you input something like a prompt command and then it will edit the video accordingly. So I don't even have to click on edit media or edit script. I can use AI to edit my video. To do that, simply click on edit. Then you will see this prompt box on the bottom of your preview and it says give me a command to edit the video so let's take a command like for example uh, to add a introduction in the start of the video so so i want to replace the first scene instead of meditation i want it to be of someone climbing a mountain and then i've also asked it to introduce itself as well in the voiceover at the start of the video so after I've put in my command, I can click on generate and then the AI will basically process my request as I have put it in a prompt and then it will make those changes to the video. So let's take a look at our changes. 
So you guys can see our video has been edited. So let's take a look at our edited video that we just edited with a basic command. So you guys can see that the AI has changed our first scene. It's included a person on the mountain as well as a introduction. Now I can even ask it to add a more customized outro or intro. So if I wanted to say, so I wanted to say bye bye, see you tomorrow as my outro. You can do whatever you want as your outro if you want to add like, subscribe, comment or any other outro that you might want you can easily add that so let's take a look at in video processing our request and you can add any kind of command in this command box and it will edit it accordingly so let's wait for our outro to be generated so our outro has been generated let's take a look at what it's looking like so you guys can see that it has created an amazing little outro for our video as well. Now, once you're satisfied with the overall appearance of your video and you like how it's currently formulated, there are no further changes you want to do. You can go into back over here on your bottom. Then below your preview box, you can see our export box. So you want to click on export over here. And then you have export to timeline and then export video so you want to click on export video and then you have your export settings obviously for youtube exports we want to do 1080p then you want to go with no watermark and then you want to go with no in video branding now this is what you want to do these are your optimized settings for youtube and if you're serious about content creation with in video ai i recommend that you upgrade to a paid plan because on the free plan you have watermarks so make sure that you check the personal link i provided in the description box down below that can get you a free sign up but with that sign up i do recommend that you upgrade to a paid plan and that was it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will catch you in the next video.